Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 22. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that weren't able to make it here in person. Uh, we don't have much to cover today. We have triage, and there's not a lot of things to triage on top of that. And so if uh, we don't get many questions or comments, things that people want to discuss from the, uh, the gallery, then we're going to be done in, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And since there isn't that much to discuss, let's go ahead and go do that. Right, triage, Bob, ready? I'm good. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Um, well, you might want to refresh. We just got a bug. Oh yeah. Cannot find the file. Hmm, well, that's gonna be interesting. All right, I'm still starting. I'm starting at the bottom. All right, here we go. Error B has space guidance LG zero is followed. Um, oh yeah, I think this is just the the wording of that message is particularly uh, non Englishy um, for what the actual problem is. It, it's even I found it confusing, even, and I you know figured out what the actual problem was. Um, it, it's just weird to consider that a quote is inside of a string, so the message is like. Your path contains a quote. Well, sure it does. It has spaces. It must have quotes. Like, eh, yeah, no, it's the quote that's inside, except it's at the end. Anyway. Uh, so you're saying we I, should take this bug to improve the error message somehow? Yes, I think that's what it. That's what the actual error is. It's just the, the wording is not conducive to... Uh, <laughs> Understanding? You know, uh, figuring out the problem, you know, eh, little things. Right. I, I'm down with that, but I vote that you take it then. Yeah, that's already put it into 3.9. <laughs> All right. Uh, awesome. Burn fails if point temp points to a file. I thought we had this. Is there yeah, something in look. burn that, oh, I think burn does something if the temp file is missing and it handles that case. But if it points to a file, we probably don't do anything. Um, so much. Of so, I mean, the OS. Yeah, the, the whole world is in a very bad place if you do this. Yes. But we well, fail. We shouldn't fail. It seems like we should just. Well, no. fail to run. That doesn't necessarily mean. You know, Without any error, no, it means that we just exit, I think, quietly exit. Right. And because we don't write a log file, there's no information as to why it failed to open. We have code in there that's trying to handle that, but... This, well, so maybe this is already covered. It just, yeah, the, the you know, oh, we should show the error in full UI. Um, well, no, that's not going to happen. The only error we have is the that the engine shows is the, what, the version, OS version thing, the bundle condition. Yeah, but I think it's, oh, man, where does that happen? I'm trying to figure out where we log, where we initialize logging, or initialize, initialize state logging, All right, well, I guess we have to go look at this one and figure out why it's unhappy. Log initialize that. Oh, and then eventually... Right, and we will open it to the failure, which would... Oh, that's in log deal. All right, well, I, I mean, it would not surprise me if did not quite handle the case where the temp, yeah. If you don't have a temp folder, we don't create a log file. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess we That's, put it 3x and say, yeah, we can investigate that? Well, uh, what do you want to do? I mean, we, I, I'm, I'm thinking we should create a log file somewhere, 
Right. Well, what, what we attempt to do is we attempt to create a log fi file called, you know, setup failed in a location. I don't I mean, yeah, we just have to have a fallback location, I guess. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, yeah. It's just kind of like, what the heck? Your machine is not in a happy place for all this. Yeah. So. So you can't even, actually, the truth is, you can't even run an MSI in that state. I, I expect there's a whole lot of things you can't do, but yeah. we can do something somewhere. John suggests current directory. Definitely not current directory. <laughs> current directory would be like your internet temp folder or your <laughs> CD. <laughs> that won't work. So, no, we'll need to go find a place like, I don't know, the user's documents folder or something goofy. Although current directory wouldn't be bad if we have a chain. If we have multiple fallbacks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. current directory certainly seems like one place it tries. It's not going to be a perfect one. Right, right. That's... For bundles in all cases. Yep, we need, we need a chain. You're right. It's like, logging's hose. All right, start searching for a place to put this stupid file. Right. <laughs> Maybe desktop folder. Man, that would get annoying, but it would get my, my attention. <laughs> your temp file, your temp location is hosed. You probably should fix it, is what it's going to say. Yep. <laughs> and if you don't know what this means, then you've got bigger problems. Because you did this to yourself, and like, I, well, or something did it to you. Right, right. All right. Yeah, anyway. I added a note. I don't know. You could just see the guy. I mean, and you know he calls it a feature, so I guess that's something. But, you, I mean, you could just see the dev with a tester saying, it doesn't work on this machine. The dev going in, oh, and just going, where, what's going on? And then finally going, oh, well, it's, and then giving us a bug saying, hey, could you guys please make this easier for me to investigate in the future? Right. Done. Burn variables access to merge module properties. To access merge module, like the version number of the merge module. Is there anything else in a merge module? The ID. That's not... The language. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, meh, whatever. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's a, I mean, I would like to propose to implement... Well, if someone wants to implement it, I'm... Not opposed. I'm curious how difficult it would be given the way we treat merge modules. No, I think you'd just go through the merge module configuration table. Oh, no. Yeah, you know, you'd have to go find the merge module, open it, pull data out of it before merging it. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, that is, that is straightforward. You're right. That's fine. <laughs> It, it, it's more work than getting the file version and stuff out of a file, but not that much more work. Yeah, well, I was comparing it to packages. It'd um, be the same thing as opening a package. I mean, it's an MSI yeah, space. Yeah, anyway, yeah. totally possible. I don't care, but it's not wrong. Yep. What do we do with those? Do we? I don't know. Do you want to resolve it as... Oh, shoot, I don't remember. <laughs> We haven't had one of these in a while. Um, you need to suspend? Yeah, I, I I don't care. I I'd be happy to suspend it, but I'd be happy if someone said no. Um, I, I'm if this particular person is open the feature request in advance of implementing the feature, I'm content to let that happen. Uh, if he's asking for it, I'm happy to. Let it sit, sit there it. until well, someone does decide they want to do it, or we, you know, mop up three X and the move to four O. Yeah. All right. Well, not four O. Let me not four X. Yeah, four X. All right. Um, fine. We'll put it in the future, which is where it's at. So I guess it just needs to be opened. Light one hundred three cannot find file. Uh, this is long paths. And we don't have an error about this? God, I, can you fix this issue? Um, 
As soon as Windows does. Well, sorry. As soon as .NET does. Yeah, there's a lot of things that have to come together for this to work. Timing really? No, I don't think this is timing related. I think Bob's right. If you count all those characters, it's probably over 260. Oh, he actually calls it out, the root cause of the path name. Um, yeah, it's it's not been proven that we can actually do this anyway. <laughs> Just kind of. Well, that's what I said. From from managed code, I don't think there's anything we can do. The you know, we the could CLR we could isn't... yeah no we could p invoke to all of the Windows APIs. For all of our file access. That's right. For all file access. Okay. At a certain point, let's just rewrite Wix in C++. <laughs> well, at least all the file I/O and native code. No, no, no. Let's let's just go whole hog. No, sensibility model would be pretty hosed if we did that. Um, so oh. there's a whole lot of things that aren't going. to, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, Max Path sucks. I don't know what to do. Is that a resolution? I don't think we should keep this bug. Uh, this title's not right. Um, we could open a feature if we don't have one already. Maybe we don't have one already. I thought we had one already that basically says figure out how to implement MaxPath or us. Work around the, it? The Unicode characters. Uh, the Unicode, what do they call them? The Unicode long path, whatever. Whack, whack, question mark, whack. Right. For all pathing and then avoid use of all of the... Um, .NET Framework APIs, and then we also can't use, it won't work for certain MSI APIs, because MSI APIs won't take it either. Oh, um, man. So you can't create a database in a long path. Like, you just can't do it. At least last I checked. I'm pretty sure that still doesn't work. So you just can't do it. Now, we create our cabs, so we can probably do it for all the cabbing, which is what this is. Um, so so on and so forth. Oh, that's horrid. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> that's why this is our, like, you know, binary files. They have to be in a path shorter than something, I think, for the, but we do stuff with them, make them worth the IDTs anyway, so, you know. Anyway, it's, it's challenging on Windows, very challenging. You have to kind of build from the beginning to handle this, and every API you call has to be prepared to handle it, which, Anyway, it's a large undertaking, and there will still be problems. There will still be certain things that will not be perfect. Like you cannot output your MSI to this location, I'm pretty sure. No, I take that back. No. And, and you can work around it, right? You output the MSI to the temp folder in a short path, right, right, and then right. you move it. And you're like, yay, I did it. It's <sighs> just a lot of work. Anyway, that's all. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well. So I say we, um, we resolve this bug and we open the long path feature and describe it as the complexity that it is, and then we can go from there. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'll wait a couple minutes until I, you know, get all the sarcastic responses out of my system when it comes to titling the new feature, because really this is, you know, silly. Um well, um, it, yeah. I, I understand. It's like, oh, I'm I'm limited. Yeah, but you're limited this way in so many different aspects of Windows. Yeah. It's like, uh, sorry, I, I would not choose to do this work because I think it's a silly issue. But that's me. Um, I, I was just trying to characterize the problem. I wasn't trying to convince you that you should do the work, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's a lot of work, and the benefit is like, hey, look, we made no significant progress. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, personally, I'm going to go spend my time fixing bugs in inline directory syntax. There you go. 
All right, I think that's it, right? Should be. All right, it's not a bug. It's a feature request. If it's a bug, then it's not our bug. Right. Um, and actually, the .NET Framework guys are kind of funny because they have a post. I saw somewhere where it was like, why don't you guys do this? And like, oh, it's really hard, and not all Windows APIs support it. And I'm just like, hey, look, it's the same problem we have. So it's just like, um, you're just kind of screwed. Windows just uh, clearly right. .NET is the is the place to fix this because uh, they could actually abstract all of that annoying stuff away. That's true. Plus, they can make sure that all their APIs don't get upset when we pass the one pass to them, so we right. don't have to go p invoke down to the ones that do let us do it. Anyway, right. not fun. <sighs> Anything? Mass excitement. Oh, we just missed 15 minutes, Bob. Eh, well, we we took advantage of the fact that we knew it was going to be a short meeting, so. <laughs> That's true. We kind of slowed it up. Um, anything out there? Eric says, is there any thoughts on a bug I post the mail list? So Eric, I think, asked a question about votive and how it should work with reference things, and it's votive, so I have a lot of very few opinions about it. I, I, I'm averting my eyes as we speak. Yeah. Um, if we don't make eye contact, then I don't have to answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I I have not read it in depth, but I saw it, and I'm like, yeah, look, Visual Studio's goofy. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> I, I, That's why I voted it was so hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, Eric, I agree with your your um, conclusions. I think Vistos are, are not wired correctly. Um, the your, your workaround sounds crazy. Whether that is good or bad, I'll leave as someone else to judge. Um, the I'm curious about the you know if it would actually wire up because really it's a question of okay yeah you can select it but does it actually you know work and that's what I'm not I'm not sure about that gets deeper into the uh, MS build voodoo side yeah so. well. If it's an MS build project, creating a project reference, it should be fine. Well, this assumes that the Visto projects are, you know, following all the common targets conventions. No, they don't. They don't have. You don't, I, We actually have a fairly light touch on that, I think. Huh, okay. Um, well, this is just to hook up um, dependencies, though, right? Yeah, just to just to. It should get the build order right. Um, it, it's, I think it's just a UI problem because something about Visual Studio talking to this project isn't happy. But in MS Build, once you create a project reference, it's just like, yeah, it's just a project reference. Now, you, you may not be able to get all of the metadata off of it, but I don't think it crashes if we can't get the metadata off of it. So. Okay. Right, the original bug says Wix project can handle project. I would expect that because our, our project references in, in, in Wix are really light because all the other projects are so screwy, so we don't do a whole lot on our side. It just means we won't get anything above and beyond. Well, we don't get anything above and beyond for most projects anyway, so it really is a question of can you create the project reference through Votive. Okay, well... Then I'll go back to averting my eyes because I have no idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It's kind of like the VSTO project didn't implement something right, or uh, I, I actually I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what it means to implement something correctly. <laughs> um. So. So I I, you know, Blair suggested letting the email sit out there for a while longer and see if anybody wants to comment on it. I I didn't comment on it personally because I didn't have a comment on it, so um, we'll call that self-referential. Uh, anything else people want to have questions, comments about? <laughs> yeah, Jacob's got it right. It's actually, it's not funny. I mean, we talk about it, you know, you know, uh, emotive, but truth is, it's 
it's not great because uh, eventually Vote is going to suffer from bit rot uh, as Visual yeah. Studio. Uh, well, I, I'd argue it already has. We have a lot of bugs talking about Votive not working, getting along well with other extensions. Um, and it's only going to get worse as Visual Studio you know, keeps shipping versions, presumably faster than the two, three years they were taking before. Anyway, sorry, I was just ranting there. Yeah. All right. Well, anything else out there? I'm happy to let the meeting. You guys can keep talking, but if we don't have anything else, we don't have to be recording it. All right, 20 minutes. People are trying to fill the time. Trying to get us to a half hour or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jacob, there's nothing. Um there's the MPF that's in Visual Studio that's actually semi-documented. The project system support is the open source project on CodePlex, and there's no documentation to speak of. Uh, so Jacob's asking if GitHub's all good and happy, and yes, as of last week, GitHub was, um, was all good and happy. Um, and we're just waiting for me to finish updating the build servers. And so I'm, that's on my list of things to do so that we get a build out of it. But everything looks good. I mean, we're rolling again. Did I miss something in Git attributes? Well, you said that you, there might be some PDBs that were getting converted because they thought they were text instead of whatever. And so... There's that, but no, the Git attributes, as far as I know, are otherwise okay. Um, and I think we talked about just getting the PDBs out of there because there's no reason to use those as test data. And we kind of left it as the, hey, you could delete that file, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be less subtle, Rob. Sorry. Um <laughs> At least I got a little out of it. All right. <laughs> I don't think we got much else. Um, so other than that, I think we're all good. Uh, things are kind of going, so I guess that's it, right? Anything else? Any excitement going okay. on out there? No? All right. Um, next week is April, and April, of course, is always close to the Wicks' birthday, if you want to look at it that way, and things like that, and... This is actually, I believe, if I remember correctly, 10 years of Wix yes. being open source. 2004. Yeah, Thursday, unfortunately, is a couple days early, I think, or being released. But So, um, anyway, I, we should have a party next week or something. Um, bring virtual cupcakes or something, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, if that's all we got, that's all we got. I think we're going to be kind of good and done on this meeting. Uh, Jacob's talking to himself about his PR that he's not getting to. Um, and yeah, no, don't please don't submit a pull request that <laughs> hasn't been at least tested by yourself. <laughs> Here, here's code. It doesn't work. I don't want it. <laughs> throwing it over the throw, throwing it over the wall to the test team works. Actually, it doesn't work at all. But no, it really. definitely doesn't work when there's no test team to catch it. Yes. So. All right. Uh, I think that's it. We're going to call this a wrap-up. This is good. Quick meeting. A couple bugs. I don't know that we learned much new about the world, except we're going to get a better error message in here somewhere. Um, and on that note, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>